it and welcome to our math lesson today. Today is lesson 9.1, equal parts and unequal parts. To get started, we're going to do our do now warm up. You may copy this on paper. Simply write down the problems below. You will solve the problems by creating equal parts. And I want you to do your best on this one. Feel free to pause the video to take a few moments to complete your do now. Now let's get into some fluency practice. We are going to practice identifying the value of the underlying digit. We know that there is the hundreds place, the tens place, and the ones place. So I want you to do your best to identify which place is underlined. 257. The five is in the, it's in the tens place. 534. What place is the number four in? It's in the ones place. 199. What place is the number one in? It's in the hundreds place. 878. What place is the underlined eight in? It's in the ones place. 346. What place is the number four in? It's in the tens place. Good work, friends. Now on to today's skill focus. So, the other day I was spending some time with friends. We were having some snacks and there was only one cookie left. So I split it like this with my friends. I gave this piece to myself and I gave these two pieces to my friends. They thought it wasn't fair. What do you think? Do we each have even pieces of the cookie? We do not. That is something important that we are going to talk about in our unit on fractions. Today we are going to be talking about equal parts and unequal parts. We are going to learn how to recognize if something has been split into equal parts or unequal parts to help us get ready to learn about fractions. To be a fraction, you have to have three things. So what are fractions? Fractions must have equal parts. They show how many parts make a whole. And fractions help us be fair when we share. Now, these squares show equal parts or equal shares. These squares show unequal parts. Look at the pictures. How can you describe equal parts? How can you describe unequal parts? Very good, friends. Equal parts have the exact same amount, and unequal parts do not. Imagine that this is a cookie, and I'm going to share it with you. I'm going to split this cookie into two parts. If I got this piece, and you got the other piece, would that be fair? Did I split the cookie into equal parts? I did not, my friends. I did not split it into equal parts. And that's what we want to focus on today, splitting it into equal parts. Now it's your turn. Print or copy this paper on a sheet of paper, complete it, and then upload it to the Class Dojo portfolio. Happy learning, friends.